In the upper right, we have our Protoss player. We're going to see what kind of build he does this time around because his last one, Parting's build, failed. He is... SKM Shit. He always looks so sleepy when he plays. He's bored. He's bored. He's just tired too much tired already. Tired the noobs. Uh, in the bottom left, we have our Zerg player defending that uh, re immortal sentry uh, stalker warp, uh, warp prison push. <laughs> he, <laughs> is. <laughs> he is. He is. All right, well. This map, Cloud and he's Kingdom. one of our gumshoers. Shut he up, Artosis. Is. Let me finish. He's yeah, one of no. our gumshoers. That's important. very important. And yeah, man. Uh, MC has glasses, so that's yeah. that's very important to that's know. That's all. Yeah. Um, you know, MC chose this map, uh, Cloud Kingdom, one of the most comfortable maps for Protoss for Zerg, and it fits MC and MC's strengths very, very well. So, I mean, this is this is his map to show he can get out of this group. If he loses yeah. here to Curious, I feel like the Odds of him getting out of this group drop dramatically. You know, if he can't yeah. if he can't take his choice map in a group with two Zergs when he's playing Zerg first, there's just how there's no way. So he has to win this game. Even if he doesn't win the series, he has to be able to win this game, or he's just not not cut out to be in this round of a this time. Yeah. All right. Um. As you can see here, the win rate here by MC, that sounds about right. Nine to 15 minute marker, he basically does not lose. <laughs> I didn't know his end game was that weak though. 33%, 25 plus. Yeah, well he has a lot of games over a lot of time, and he used to six gate like every single game. <laughs> so if you fail a I six gate, you don't really have a whole games. lot you can, you can do, right? Well, everything looking pretty normal. We should be seeing Curious take that third base relatively soon. Yep. Unless he wants to do something cheesy, this would be a good map to choose to do something like that on. Yeah. Uh, you have to be careful, though, because MC's going to be wily with that probe to try to find anything like that occurring, because Curious, more and more lately, has been doing cheese, uh, mixing cheeses in when he used to play only macro games, so... Well, you know, you, you got to have that toolkit. you got to be able to, you know, do the cheesy games, do all-ins, and then you can play the macro games, because if you only have one play style, I mean, people just blind counter it and mm -hmm. um, and you lose so it's right. a little bit of a poker game inside of the Starcraft game here yeah. or maybe a poker game is just a little fraction of what a Starcraft game is oh that could be too I think that's more accurate to I be think honest. you're right I don't care how old poker is or how popular <laughs> All right, we should start trashing on chess and how Starcraft's better than that. Well, there's no reason there's to because there's not even anyone to troll with that. I don't think well, even, it's not even an argument. Kasparov actually. himself couldn't argue with that, man. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's true. Yeah. Now we have the uh, probe going back. It's lights out for the Protoss. He has nothing out on the map, uh, which is actually typical for a PBZ at this phase of the game. Mm -hmm. Now, uh,. We'll be watching very carefully. It looks like it's probably going to be Stargate play. We have no plus one yet. And, you know, this this is just kind of lining up. This is the way that you tell in Wings Liberty the build order that's going on is you watch. When does that plus one start? Does it start before the core finishes? Then it's, you know, it's likely to be an expansion build. And there you go. There is that Stargate. Whereas if it doesn't start until after the tech, then... It's either a mortal push or Stargate normally. Yeah, that, that's a that's a good way to put it actually. Yep. So we got two more extractors coming up here, and we're gonna have to wait and see uh, what he's gonna make out of the Stargate. Could be a Phoenix or a Void Ray. Yeah, probably not an Oracle because we are playing Wings of Liberty. That's too bad, man. I'm digging the Oracle. Yeah, it's. I love neat. that unit. I like it too. Mm -hmm. mm. But whether he makes Phoenix or Void Ray, not going to be as good as Heart of the Storm. Phoenix or Void Ray is it? No, not at all. No, not quite. Oh, it's a and Void Ray. All right. Okay. Heart, yeah, of the, Heart of the Storm is so good. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's so amazing. Of course, for anyone not realizing what we're talking about, that's the expansion set, which is coming out very soon. Yes. Everyone's playing the beta quite a bit, and it's awesome. I like. So, I really like so what good. they did with the Reapers, actually. Yeah. It's so much better. I like basically what they did with everything. It's yeah. Just a fantastic expansion so far. Well, you know what I love about it is that it is so different. Yeah. You know, 
quite a this bit. It's more of a radical so transformation than anything that happened with you know the original Starcraft of Brood War. Yeah, you know. Well, here we go. The Void Ray coming out immediately. There are Phoenixes backing this up. In the meantime, Curious starts two Evolution Chambers. And with those two Evolution Chambers, that kind of points towards him not getting aggressive. If you want to do like a big Roach attack or something like that, you normally get one. But, uh, you know, MC should, this means, be able to take his third base with relative ease. And this should go into a kind of standard macro game. Sure. All right, the Void Ray now coming out here. Going to drive away some of these Overlords. Uh, and the Phoenixes are going to be here to cover the Void Ray. He might try picking up that Queen over there. Yeah, it's and gonna he be will, a... right before he actually loses any more shields oh, on that. Oh, he the slid Phoenix. into range. Oh, oh, that's a bit annoying. Now he oh, got it, but I got to no, say... Oh, no, he didn't get it. Oh, the he queen didn't lives. get it? Oh, excuse me. That queen is chilling at like one life or so. That's kind of crazy. And what sucks even more is that Void Ray is actually at half health. Yeah. No. This, uh, you know, this, this happens to Protoss bad. all the time. You don't actually kill queens normally <laughs> yeah. with the Void Ray like that. But it's that. too tempting. You know, and especially there where it's like, well, I got him. Nope, actually turned out you didn't. Now you have a very damaged Void Ray, whereas that queen is basically fine. Well, we do have Infestor Tech on the way. No big surprise there. The 1-1 one -one upgrades as well for Zerglings. So, like, Infestor Composition. In the meantime, MC does have his Robo up. And we'll have to see if he wants to go right into Colossus tech. And there you go. As I say that, the bay does go down. So we are going to be seeing him go into Colossus tech in the fourth base for Curious. This is uh, basically if you are looking for build orders for either side of this matchup, look no further. You found them. This game is exactly like standard normal good play. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think you summed that up very well. If you want to, yeah, if you want to learn and use a build that you can do on the ladder over and over, this is it. Both sides. Mm -hmm. This is safe to transition uh, into a good place. Obviously, we would not probably endorse trying to get that queen like he did back there. That really oh. put MC in a kind of weakened position where his phoenixes and void rays really couldn't do much more. Yeah, took quite a bit of damage on that void, but yeah, he felt the need to try, so. We do have a lot of Infestors on the way. Some more Queens as well. We do have MC also getting his Twilight for some more upgrades. He's going to have to get Blink or Charge uh, also. And with how many Zelts he's warping in, it looks like he wants to do one of these, like, three Colossus he's uh, plus two attack charge timings, which are very, very nice. All right, now one of these Queens is going to be dropped. He's going to have to pick it up again immediately. And you can see he does just that. Nice Mike ran away at 7 wow. HP here. Wow, really well done. But, you know, he's also, again, I mean, more queens are coming up here. Yeah, but he's killing quite a few. Yeah. Three queens, and he's lost no units for this. This is actually fantastic. And he's going to try to go for another one here, but he's going to oh. go. Oh, see, that's a too bad. It's a that big can over happen extension. Too. <laughs> Chain Fungal is now going to go down on these phoenixes unless they do something wrong here. Yeah, and you know what? That's actually very painful to lose. Oh, and one phoenix. One Phoenix Tasteless is like the sound of one hand clapping. It's not very much. Yeah. Um, it can pick stuff up and then drop it again. I yeah, that's <laughs> the saddest thing in the world is watching a drone go to expansion, lifting up with your one Phoenix, and then just dropping it and it makes the hatchery. Yeah. Saddest feeling ever. <laughs> so, oh, he's actually getting Blink. I'm actually a little bit surprised about that. But, uh, you know, he's made a lot of Zealots, which, of course, gives him the extra gas while still getting a lot of supply. Uh, to get these upgrades, a plus two, the extra claw side, the blink upgrade. And uh, so that's why we see that. But yeah, that's, that's really good of Curious to get those. You know, those Phoenixes can be used for a long time, especially because we're going to see a big battle happen. Well, he's going to be doing a pretty serious push coming, push coming up here, MCS. Yeah. He's, got, he's getting a lot of gateways. How many gateways is that actually total? Uh, he's going so six nine? more, so no, it's that's going to be, gonna be ten, ten gates total. Yeah. And 10 gates, plus he's about to have his third Colossus. Uh, he should be moving out pretty soon here. All right, as you can see here, the Infestor's pushing out a little bit. He does not want to lose those. Mm -hmm. That is, like, the most important thing he has right now. Yep. And some pretty good Spinecrawler defense. Basically two points that he could attack into. The unlikely one, which is the second base. Then the more common one, which would be the fourth base. Yeah. For the Zerg. Fourth is by far more likely, especially that creep spread, because otherwise he can get flanked. Uh, he's probably going to want to come in from the high ground of the fourth. 
and see what he can get done there. But there's a lot of spines, so it's going to be a little bit hard. Now, these Lings are uh, here to keep the Proas uh, uneasy about leaving his base. He knows that those Lings can counterattack. Meanwhile, Curious is going to lay down a ton of spine crawlers, mm. trying to tech up to Broodlords. And if you can get those Broodlords out and get in good position, he should be fine. Yeah, and you know what? He's actually going up to a fifth Colossus right now while he's getting that plus three attack. Uh, but I feel... It. I don't know. The amount of time he's waited, I thought he was going to move a little bit quicker, but now this there's a lot of corruptors out. Kind of a repeat of what we saw actually in the first game where the, the build is fine, but the mm -hmm. push itself is late. Well, the 10 corruptors that are going to be out are going to be pretty useful, but it looks like he's going basically for so many. Yeah, this is exactly what he's doing. Uh, he's making a ton of cannons right now because he doesn't want to have to turn around. This is going to be like a never-ending push where he just tries to win off three base. There's a possibility we'll see him go into a fourth later on depending on the amount of damage, but he has so many Colossus here and it, uh, basically max our army. He wants to deal so much damage to these Colossi that it doesn't matter when they all die. That he yeah. kills, basically kills the rest of Curious off with just Stalker Warpins. All right, now he's actually preemptively putting down some Infest and Terrans here because all he knows all he has to do is buy a little bit of time. Yeah, he needs he needs to buy some time here. That's a lot of spines and carry right. the Corruptors targeting down these Colossi, but he wants to deal enough damage beforehand. This is why so many there Infest and Terrans are coming too up. Too many Corruptors here. Uh, uh, two Colossi go down, and it looks like uh, another two are going to go down in a moment here. That's and we right. haven't even really used the spine crawler defense here, which is pretty hefty. But we have stalkers in here from two angles. We got 70 Zerglings, 70 Zerglings on the Whoa. way. And with that, the Protoss will retreat. That's right, and that Greater Spire is almost done. MC has left himself no real room for a transition well, here. Well, you can tell that for sure because he's going to go for Mothership now. He's going to yeah. turn off Mothership. Hope that's, a good, uh, that's the emergency Archon button right there. Yeah, that's, you that's hit, you break the glass. and you're, you're over the ocean, and you've actually hit the button that ejects your seat from your, your fighter. This is what's happening. Okay. From your jet ski. Yeah, yeah I totally know the metaphor you're talking no, about. No, from your fighter. No, man, your jet ski. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well... Uh, this is really, really bad for MC. Now, this is the army that was supposed to finish Curious off. Yeah. And it and it's, is... It's actually one of those weird moments where the Protoss is, like, stuck with uh, Stalker Zealot. And the fourth base is probably going to be denied, too. You can see he's just going to... He's going to uh, just meet up here with the rest of his army, come down here, and fourth base will be canceled, and the very worst will be destroyed, and it's canceled. Yeah, and he's he's starting to make some Archons, it looks like, uh, some more Colossi as well, but this, he's trying to get back up to an army as good as what he had before, and he's not even going to be able to do that, and he's going to be doing it against a much better army from Curious, so MC is almost drawn dead here. He's got very little time to actually push back and, and somehow gain an advantage. Yeah, um, and you can see the uh, Broodlings are coming Ooh, out here now. Ooh, look at that flank of the soccer. It's very nice, I but don't think it matters. too much, yeah. yeah. Too He's many units out there. He's going to drive back here now. And, um, I mean, he doesn't want to overcommit with these Broodlords, but, I mean, frankly, the Zerg can do almost anything he wants at this point in time. Yeah. Um... Now he's got a good amount of stalkers with the roaches underneath. It's unwise to blink into the um, the brood lords. It looks like he's going to go for it now. Yeah, he's got to pick some of these off. Yeah. It looks like he will pick them off and yeah, actually, be I, able I to take clean back up the what army. I said, but now we have the um, you know, the rest of those stalkers. I don't know. I mean, if you look at the supplies here, it's 120 to 148. But if you look at the money that uh, Zerg had, and Zerg had a lot more like a minute ago before they remade most mm -hmm. of his stuff. Well, Curious is on four base against three, which is a, a pretty comfortable amount still. Uh, a big question is how many Infestors did he retain during all this? And with the Infestors he just created, he now has 11. So 11 plus his huge spine wall plus seven Corruptor, I mean, uh, Broodlords that are being morphed. Curious definitely still in a strong lead, but... MC is the one guy that can find a way back in this any situation. This is very true. So the game plan here for Curious is to probably wait until the Protoss' fourth base finishes. This is one of these weird things where you can let them finish the fourth base and then destroy it. Mm. You can't really do that for Terran unless they have a planetary there, but because uh, right now the income is so sparse here for um, MC that if he's to lose that, it's going to be almost impossible to afford remaking a fourth base yeah. and replenishing his army. Yeah, in fact, if Curious kills that one time, uh, MC is dead. Like he, yeah. all he needs to do is kill the fourth without losing his fourth, and he's basically got the game. Uh, and in also, fact, he's taken that fifth as well. Yep, yep. Took the words right out of my mouth. He's taken that fifth, and uh, mm -hmm. that's one of those locations that's pretty much impossible for the Protoss to get to. 
He's going to try to send some zealots down here, but as long as you can identify that they're doing that, you can deny it. And it looks like as he sees the zealots coming down here, he says, oh, you know what? Well, I'll he just slowed down the army so that his zealots could actually hit this with their plus three attack. So that's actually a lot of damage he's putting out. I don't think he'll kill it. No, I don't think uh, he will. But and it was a good try. And attacks him over here. Now let's see if he gets some vortex off. And look, he has to give it yeah, up. And this is it. this is almost just the death blow here. He basically needs a great Archon Toilet. We're down to that as the out for MC. And who knows, he might be able to do it. He does have a Speed War Prism on the map. So if he can draw Curious's attention away, he might be able to get off, like, just a very awesome Vortex. Right. Speaking of which, here he comes now. And you'd be amazed what you can do with four stalkers in a war prison, yeah. by the way. But this uh, war prison is going to go down. And Good target. If he had gotten those zealots uh, out, the useless. greater spire goes down. Well, so looks like the fifth of his uh, might go down here. Well, here goes MC again, doing what MC does. Yeah, he is going to take out that fifth, it looks like. Almost got the greater spire, which would have been a huge moment. Uh, but yeah, he's still, he's got to rely on his mothership right now. And he's making a lot of Archons. All right, well, the... Uh, the fifth base uh, has been wiped out. That will be remade. He may also take the center left as well. Mm. Uh, the Nexus is nearing completion here, uh, as you can see. And I think he's probably going to do once again, just wait for that to finish. He's going to get more Broodlords, get an ungodly number <laughs> of units, and just go for it, you know? Yeah. You know, I have to say some things about Curious's play. I'm actually a little bit disappointed in the creep spread at this point in the game. Oh, good call. Uh, yeah. Because if this was Symbol, for instance, the entire map would be creeped, and he'd have his spines in better places where he could actually you push know, MC. Some of these Zerk players, they uh, once you wipe out their initial creep push, they just yeah. stop making creep. It's true. You just, you'll see it with some players uh, particularly. Yeah. They took out that uh, pylon there just so there's not a possibility of cannons being made there just yet. Mm -hmm. You see, Curious keeps attacking MC with these uh, armies that are very good and very strong, but he, every time he barely doesn't have enough and MC holds him off, and then he does his counter harassment and maybe snipes a hatch because the army of Curious is being remade. Uh, and even though Curious remains in the lead, I mean, it, imagine if he had that creep spread. Imagine if he could just utilize his spines and spores in the push. He can't, of course, but if he could, he could crush through an army like this. There's just yeah. there's very little way you can actually stop it. Uh, but instead, MC is working himself into that position where he's getting the ridiculously good unit composition. He's even going into Void Rays with a second Stargate and getting Storm. We well, could see that Void Ray play um, that we saw in the round of 32 that blew us away. The one that, you know, I just I couldn't believe how good that was. Mm. Uh, we have a War Prism coming up here. Now, he did not notice that base, I believe. And it looks like he's going to try to come in here and once again do what he couldn't do before. Yeah, if he could get that, it would be pretty big. Uh, and actually lets the Zealots out at the natural there, warping in some more here in the main. And if he can get that Greater Spire, nice. that's huge. Wow, and looks he's like actually... It's just barely going to finish in yeah. time, but it does. And he's actually going after Queens as opposed to uh, the Greater Spire. Okay, this is a, I'm a bit caught off guard by seeing um, Curious Zeus. He's going to go for the full-on counterattack. Yeah, I guess and he's okay with that damage. Him out. That's weird. Yeah, there's some uh, questionable decisions so, yeah, by Curious. This sort of a dodgy move. This might give him an opening to win. He keeps making good armies and then attacking with them, which is, I mean, that sounds good maybe on the surface, <laughs> but it's like a little bit flawed in certain ways. Well, we do have uh, MC doing another attack as well, so it looks like Curious gets a free kill here. Whereas MC, this is going to take a while for him to actually break through all those spines. Yeah. Um, well, also, there's a lot more structures here for uh, the Zerg. But yeah, I mean, with Colossus range, he can just shave off these spine crawlers. This is kind of an interesting situation. Losing one Templar, that's actually pretty big Yeah. Uh, for what is basically a base trade scenario. Yeah, it looks like we are in that base trade scenario, as you said, Tasteless. Uh, but... I don't know if this army is actually good enough from Curious to do this. Wait, he does have 11 Infestors, 11 Corruptors. Mm, yeah, it's probably good enough. It, again, this is going to come down so heavily to Vortex. Yeah. Now, it looks like we have uh, MC coming back here. And I think he's starting to realize, actually, the... You have a Langoliers, man. <laughs> The Langoliers, no. Yeah, you know, read that Stephen King novel? No. Okay. Let's look at these bird lords tearing through time and space. Like, <laughs> there's what MC's base is right now. All right, never mind. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he is going to completely decimate this base and do it so quickly. Now, he's got to be careful, though. Remember, one good, uh, 
one good uh, uh, vortex, and it's over. So. Yeah. Now MC does have a lot of high templars on the high ground. Uh, his army has a few high templars and a lot of archons, and let's see. He's gonna have to use a vortex on those. They do fly past. Does he have enough damage output to stop these from killing this off? And it looks like he didn't get his second now he's vortex got a lot off. Of void rays here. He's gonna go yeah. around that. But there's a lot of corruptors left over. He only got some of the corruptors in there, and I think he didn't get any of his archons in. So here it comes down to a few size storms. Can he kill off every corruptor? Well, with a stack like that, maybe. All right, looks nice like absolutely there, not. <laughs> and that's going to be a uh, GG here. As yep. MC goes down to the losers map. That's it. GG. Well. Nice. Furious played really well, but I, to be honest, I feel like MC did not play like what I'm used to seeing. Yeah, and, well, I'm let's surprised. let's go back to uh, what happened there. He went to a five Colossus timing, which gave like if you base, every, he wanted to do enough damage, okay, with his Colossus, but. Curious kept scouting, kept kind of figuring out what was happening. Took him a little bit to catch on to the Colossus count, but uh, he made so many spines because MC took a very long time to actually move out. If you hit them when they have a lot less spines, they have to use more army, which means the Colossus deal more damage to you rather than just hitting spines and some infested Terrans. In which case, as you clean up those, uh, those Colossi and then you have all these floating paperweights, against a ton of Stalkers. Yeah. And that's the kind of win that MC was going for there, but uh, it just well, he, he waited too long, he had too many Colossi, and it just, from there he was behind. To his credit, he did do very well uh, in staying alive, but uh, he He's put MC, himself man. in that position, yeah. Um, I don't know if I really agree with Curious uh, not trying to save his base from the Zealots, but uh, at the end, I mean, eh. he had that big army, didn't matter. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we get back, we're going to have some more StarCraft 2 action here for you at the GSL Codes.